What's up guys? So I'm gonna do a tag. You guys probably heard about the tag, 50 random facts about me. I'm only gonna do 30. I'm an original and I have no life. So I'm just gonna get into it. So the first fact is that the fact about me is that I live in Denmark and I'm Danish and I prefer to speak English because why not? I hate Danish, I hate, Denmark, I hate everything about Denmark. So I'm trans. I'm transgender, which means I'm a transgender male. Which means that I am I am a girl that wants to transition, I want to change my gender and my sex into a boy, which makes a lot of sense. I think so at least. Channel name is called Transeptic because the second fact kind of points to that, that I'm transgender, but also I'm a huge fan of Jacksepticeye. So, I mean, I'm a fanboy, what, what can you say, right? So, yeah, the Transeptic kind of says itself, right? Uh, the fifth fact about me is that I got one dog, and I got two guinea pigs, and then I got a Thai chili plant. The guinea pigs and the chili plant is at my mom's, and my dog is here at my dad's. So, my parents are divorced, they live two separate places, they've been divorced since 2012. The seventh fact is I smoke, cigarettes, mostly, um, trying to quit on weed, so. The I use, I got, because I hate Mac products most of the time, because they are just so shit. They're designed to break after like three to four years. They're designed to break and malfunction and stuff like that. So currently I got a Samsung J3. I got an HP, but it's HP. So got an iPad laying around here somewhere in my room over here somewhere. Uh, the tenth fact is that I have a really strange body. I got in a bicycle accident when I was seven, which means that I now have a scar on my left knee. And it, it, it cracks, and it like, it crackles, kinda, I guess you can say. And also, I am hi I'm hypermobile, which means I can do like a bunch of weird shit with like my hands, and my back, and my elbows, and my arms, and my legs, and my neck, I can do a bunch of strange shit with that. <laughs> the 11th is that I am a theater geek, I love theater, I love movies, I love audio, I love to act, I am an aspiring actor. And I plan on going to uh, to theater school, and yeah, I plan on going to theater school when I get older, when I graduate from the school that I'm currently going to, which is a school for like special tenth graders. I go to tenth grade too. Yeah. Um, the next fact is schools. So I've been to seven or eight schools. Let me count. Hold up. To seven schools or six schools currently, and I'm gonna go to eight schools in total. I think, kinda. Um. Oh, my eyebrows itchy. Um, and I've been kicked out of two schools, two boarding schools. <laughs> I got kicked out ninth grade and I got kicked out 10th grade. So I'm finishing my 10th grade at another school. The school that I'm currently going to is where I'm finishing my 10th grade. <clears throat> so I'm unemployed. I have no job. I had one where I didn't make a lot of money and I got fired from that like the first day because there was some misunderstandings with like work hours and stuff. So I never got paid for that job either. I am afraid of fucking everything. I am afraid of spiders, I'm afraid of clowns, I'm afraid of like like cars. <laughs> they scare me a little bit, trains, planes. Um yeah, tall people freak me out for some reason, because people aren't supposed to be that tall. Like if you're like six feet and above, you scare me slightly, but you also kinda of fascinate me. So be aware of that. And I do have a lot of tall friends that are awesome. Everyone's awesome. Even though I hate humans, that's another fact, random, that I hate humans, but the tall people freak me out, and like, extremely short people kind of freak me out as well. Not to say that I don't like, not to say that I hate, like, extremely tall and extremely short people. I am extremely short myself, I'm only 5'3", that is like, centimeters, a meter, a meter and 63 centimeters how tall I am. I'm extremely short, but like, people who are only like 5'11", and below, which is like, uh, 139 or something centimeters. So yeah, kind of freaks me out a little bit. It's just, it's just, it fascinates me how bodies can be so weird, you know? It's just strange. But my hair is really strange. I've been on a hair journey since I was like 11 years old. So if you go in and stalk me on Facebook, don't do that. <laughs> There's like an extremely old page of me where I have like, sh like shoulder length hair, like down to here, and it was like this really disgusting brown. Like, really, like, ugh, icky brown. And then, I got it cut, 
and it was like shorter than this. It was like like my hair is pretty long now, but it was like about like to there, and it was like the same color that it is now. It was blonde, but it was like really blonde. <laughs> Now I'm growing my hair out. I have dyed it a bunch of different colors, so I've had like five or six colors in total. Just this last year, um, I had turquoise in my hair, and it was really short. So it grew out, and it turned like kind of gray. And then I decided that I wanted to grow it out because I want dreadlocks. So I'm on the journey to grow my hair out now. What else we got? <clears throat> I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> I hate when people do stuff that I do myself that is kind of like dickish. Like for example. An example would be that I tell you not to like poke me, but then like two minutes later I will sit and poke you with a stick or something. This is a pencil, but <laughs> so I'm a hypocrite. I hate when people do stuff that I do myself, cause I'm an asshole. Music. I play music. I sing. I love music, like audio music in general. I'm a metalhead, which means I love metal music, symphonic, dark metal, black metal, name it. I like it as long as it's not like suicide times. Nothing where they like directly scream into the microphone, that's really uncomfortable. Ed is very, like, musical. He plays a bunch of different instruments, he can sing, he can... he can't dance. Can't dance for shit, he's a dad. <laughs> Love you, dad. <laughs> but my mom can cook, like, fuck all. She is awesome at cooking, and I can make scrambled eggs. And pancakes. <laughs> so. I'm I'm never gonna be a good cook. I'm gonna live off of freezer pizza when I move out. <laughs> Mental illness. I suffer from mild so I suffer from mild social anxiety, and I just might have moderate to severe depression. I don't know. I got bored one night, and I was like, I was really sad at the time. Uh, that's a while ago, and I went on the internet on my phone because why not? And I was like, do I have depression? And then I took this quiz, and it said that I just might have moderate to severe depression, which is great. Uh, my transition in being trans is when you're only 16 years old, there's not a lot of people or hospitals or places that want you. So I went to three different hospitals here uh, in the in the mainland, and then over in Copenhagen is where I'm transitioning now. But there's basically like four four like conversations. There's basically four conversations that you have to go through. And I've been to my first one, which is just kind of like a consultation, where you talk about everything. You talk about like what I've talked about here, basically. I talk about myself, I talk about why I, why I feel like this, how long I felt like this. And now the second one is coming up here in August, where I have to go to Copenhagen again. People are gonna give me a psychological evaluation. I love all things creepy, crawly. Um, I have a bunch of weird drawings everywhere. I have like a zombie Pikachu on my wall. I have a Pepe in, I have a Pepe in the background that I drew myself. I painted that. Ain't it pretty? Huh? <laughs> so yeah, that is a Winnie the Pooh poster right there. That is a Win that is a Win Winnie the Pooh poster. So yeah, I love all things like creepy, and I draw a lot of creepy st stuff myself. I draw a lot too. I love art. Like it's magnificent. I have a painting here of a birch forest in like the autumn, in the fall, and it's really pretty. I love it so much. It was like kind of cheap too, not a lot, not like really cheap. But I have like a bunch of drawings everywhere that I do, which I love. So I also have a scorpion. I have a scorpion in the background that you can kind of see, like over there. That's a scorpion. A stuffed scorpion I bought. So yeah, I love all things creepy and crawly and stuff like that. Um, I have actually started YouTube before. I have another channel where all my old, very cringy vlogs are that I filmed on my iPhone 4S, which is really shitty. Please don't like go and look it up. Don't just don't. Cause it's just cringy. I haven't taken them down because I kind of like them being there a little bit. It's kind of weird. But also, the reason I wanted to start YouTube is because, like, I love YouTube. YouTube is awesome. YouTube is helping a lot of people, even though it's really just a bunch of, like, 20 to 20 and up aged people that make, like, stupid videos. But... I watch a lot of YouTube myself. I've always watched YouTube. I rarely watch anything else than YouTube. And every time there's a new video up, I'm the one watching it. I'll be there watching it. My sexuality, because this is just 50 random facts, I'm just gonna do 30 instead, as I said in the beginning. But uh, a random fact about me is my sexuality. I am what you would call pan romantic, which means I am not really sexually interested in anyone, but I can pretty much have a romantic relationship with anyone, as long as we're compatible, of course. My heritage, I am part Scottish, part German, part 
There's a little bit of Spanish in me, and some Norwegian and Swedish and stuff like that. I am a pescatarian, which means I can only eat like fish and chicken. I'm trying to lose 13 kilograms so that I can get operated and get my breast removed. I do gaming every once in a while, and once I figure it out, I'll probably record some stuff. I have a lot of games on my computer, and they're all free, except for like a few. Holy fuck, I love Disney so much. <laughs> I admire Disney. I admire everything Disney. Even the originals where Mickey Mouse is a racist because that's just hilarious to think about. <laughs> like this mouse wanting to like kill black people. I think that's hysterical. I'm a very dark humored person. But yeah, I love Disney and my favorite Disney movie is The Lion King, the original. Take in mind, the original Lion King movie is the best because I hate sequels in general. Buddy Mouse, as you may have noticed, these little black things here in my ears, I'll show this one, are spirals. Because I want to stretch my ears out and I want to get piercings and tattoos because I love them and I admire them. And I think that it's so awesome that you can put art on your own body. Even if you want to treat yourself as a fucking pincushion, you go do that. You go punch, go punch your face full of holes if you want to. <laughs> and the last fact about me is that I love makeup. I suck at makeup. Honestly. I, I suck at makeup. I cannot do makeup for the life of me. But I love it. I think it's awesome. Again, like the thing with art on your body that you can do that. And like, especially as effects makeup is... I hope you like this, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you feel like. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow.